This is really an exciting day for us at the Utah Department of Transportation, but I bet it's much more exciting for those that work, play, and live around this area. We call this the Technology Corridor. We thought maybe the best way to get a view of this project was to ask the governor to lend his expertise and give us an aerial tour of this I-15 corridor. There's going to be two lanes added in each direction, a rebuild of SR-92, the uh, Thanksgiving Point interchange just behind me here, and 2100 North interchange just to the south of us as well. There'll be a new collector distributed road, so that's going to help that local traffic working through the businesses here. And I think a feature that um, maybe not as well appreciated is that we're going to have a new connection, we call it Triumph Boulevard. As we see the growth that's taking place, we probably shouldn't be surprised at the, the challenges of growth, the congestion on our roads, the need for, in fact, interstate construction, and now the need to have augmentation here, particularly in Lehigh, as Lehigh was gone from a little small city of 5,000 people to now 65,000 people. We will have a hard time continuing to grow economically if we do not solve the problem of transportation. It's been just a dynamic explosion of work here in this area. The South Salt Lake County, Northern Utah County coming together here, our two major metropolitan areas. But according to our employment numbers, you know, we've had the highest percentage of technology here in this area of any place in the nation nearly an 8% annualized growth rate. I appreciate our legislators that are here, the Transportation Commission that's here that has to prioritize uh, the finite dollars. We spend a lot of money, but they are finite. We graphed the, the, the spending on infrastructure, the spending on transportation, and you can see it grow over a period of time. But you put on top of that graph the economic growth of the state, and if you lay them right on top of each other, it's hard and you're probably not using pencils anymore, you're using some type of computer technology, but you can't get a pencil lead between the two lines. Because the, when we spend money on infrastructure, economic development comes after it.